of the lakes that I dive in seem to have a lot of fishermen who lose some line. And as you can see here, I get all tangled up. I've got a cutter and, well, it's really convenient. And I'm not having to take out a knife and I'm not stabbing myself underwater. So this cutter's kind of a nice idea. Let's go check out how much these cost. And let's go look at the cutting tools. Yeah, there it is. $29.95. Alright, we can probably do better with a 3D printer, so let's go to Thingiverse. Thingiverse has a lot of 3D models of uh, different things that you can print. So let's go look for a scuba cutter. Oh, there's one. It looks similar to what I have. It looks like you can use just a regular utility knife blade, which is pretty cheap. We've got some in the garage. So let's go ahead and download this. We're going to download it and open it up, and then open it in our slicing program. The slicing program basically tells the 3D printer what to do. But look at this, 2 hours and 18 minutes and a grand total of 29 cents worth of plastic. So let's go ahead and get this printing. Two hours later. All right, now it's time to put it together. So we've got some screw holes, we've got some uh, some nuts and some little uh, little screws. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this apart a few times and uh, try to get the holes uh, to sit right. And then what we're actually going to realize here in a minute or two is that the screws that I've got are just too small. So I'm going to give a link to the, uh, the new box of random screws that I ordered off of Amazon. And there it is. So what we've got here are some stainless ones. These probably won't rust uh, in the water, so let's see if that actually works. Put it all together. Um, you'll notice a color change here. I actually printed two of these. One of them had two screw holes and one of them had three. Just wanted to see which one was going to work a little better. Um, right now we're, we're working on the second one and we'll get that tightened up. Saw on the end there there's just a little uh, little squeezing that needs to be taking place to make sure that we can get the, um, the two pieces to sit. And needle nose weren't going to work so went and grabbed a pair of channel locks and just kind of pulled these together. Now we're going to actually go off screen and voila we have some paracord and a carabiner. Click this onto your BC. There you go. So the one from your dive shop is going to cost you about 30 bucks. If you have access to a 3D printer you can make this for about 29 cents. Paracord carabiner and a utility knife you're maybe at an extra dollar so you're looking at a dollar twenty nine